Oh, hello, everybody. It's with Prof. Joff. We're back again with a new video. This is a little different. YouTube suggested me some stuff. I was like, yo, this looks interesting. Five actors versus one real murder. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. So let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing oh, yeah, it's a deal by Kevin the Murderer. We have five people Lange, here. Four of them Lange, are paid actors Lange. who are making up a full story. And one of them actually committed murder. We have Danny, oh. Herm, Lawrence, and our good friend Ari today. Ari? We're going to try and figure this out. So, first round, we're going off okay, looks. First off, her eyebrows are killing me, brother. I don't know about actual murder, but... Yeah, she definitely could stab somebody like 38 times. Who we think looks like a murderer. You want to go? You. Why is that one guy man. smiling? And it's not because you're a white man. You just have a look in your eyes that is very intense. What is that supposed to be, bro? What do you think? You. Because <laughs> with the yeah, motivated t-shirt? Yep, because he looked like he motivated to kill. Ah, motivated yeah, I can see that. What you think? Nah, I don't see it. If this dude did a crime, it's probably one of those like... Uh, no people harmed crimes. You I'm, to, I'm gonna go all the way to the Kit left here because he just he ain't make eye contact with me until just now. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a killer for sure. Nah. Right. I'm gonna go with the chick on the right because women yes. have a lot of mental illness. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's so all that right. Was, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not there's that. What the hell did this dude fun. say, bro? What about brother? my guy in in the center though? <laughs> Everybody skip past him. We did. Skip okay, past. listen, the dude. On the left of the chick, he's been smiling since this whole video started. He looks the most relaxed out of all of them. Which, Yo, might have this time, like might be so fine. I don't he know, like he, he scares been, me. He be getting high to forget about the trauma. Kev, you know what he looked like? He looked like Wrong Path Herman. <laughs> he went down path? the wrong path. He went down the wrong path. He looks fine though, what do you mean? Okay, we're gonna move a on good shirt. to the intro round. Have you guys introduce Who's yourself. Who's just a little older? from there. We'll start at the top. Okay. What is your name? And give us the intro. Uh, my name is Jay. Jay. Uh, I was convicted of second degree murder for killing my neighbor. Hey, oh, that is so truthful. All right, number two, Damn. what is your name? Um, give us the full intro. Uh, my name is Johnny Cavo. Mine was in second degree murder, though. Cavo. It was See? first, huh? No, oh. it was involuntary manslaughter. Wait, wait, what was your last name again? Wait, okay, so involuntary manslaughter basically means you didn't mean to actually murder them. It just happened inadvertently. Right? Cavo. Is that Italian? Yeah. Your name is. Wait, no, what's your first on, name? Come on, don't, 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 don't. Just because he's Italian doesn't mean he's in the goddamn mafia, okay? There's a lot of Italians that have never been in the mafia, okay? Johnny, that's some real. That's don't some say real it. Sopranos. Johnny C. Uh, you know Johnny that C. them Italians don't play. Okay, number yes, three. Yes, they do. They Tell play the from time to time. My name is Lucky Luciano. And Lucky I'm Luciano. Luciano. Second degree murder. Lucky Luciano. Okay. Clearly, you ain't that. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. With you. I don't know the difference between first degree and second degree. I know, and volunteer man. So I was like, yeah, but what is? I don't Lucky. know. Yeah, we'll it's not like a GTA name. What's your real name? Rapper? Is that your real name? <laughs> nah, These are rappers. I go by Lucky Luciano. Everybody know me by Lucky Luciano. Do you uh, do music? He's an artist. I do music. See, okay. he's a rapper. Okay. Okay. Number okay. four. What so it automatically, it's not him. Rappers don't kill people. Okay. They don't. It has been a long time since a rapper actually murdered somebody. This is your story. And My if he did, Robert Figueroa, and I was bro, convicted of second degree murder. He did it. You know, he said it in a yeah, tone. I, I was him. like, yeah, I did that. Shit. But you know what? I moved on, and it is what it is. Yeah. He didn't even open his mouth. That is exactly what I'm getting from this guy. Look, he's still smiling, kind of. Look at nobody smiling. By the way, I have no idea why this guy's head is doing this. He's been doing this since the video started. I don't know teeth when he said it so I, i'm kind of a little nervous look at it, he can't even show okay. where are you from right now i'm uh, i'm in la where are you from originally yeah uh, san bernardino county a lot of murders go on down there Ari, what do you really? think about robert looks like he got that shirt for free somewhere damn <laughs> murders wear hell? free shirts <laughs> hey yo careful what if he's the actual murderer you might get stabbed after this brother <laughs> all right Sheesh. and our beautiful okay. lady hi you guys okay brother my name is Jennifer Pogatz, and I was convicted Bro, of second-degree murder for killing my husband. Oh, sh**. Wait, if she's actually the murderer, that's crazy. I say, I mean, she, the money got her a nice little fit and some nice shoes. Did you should get that life insurance money, huh? But if she killed them and they caught her, they wouldn't give her any money, right? Why would they give her money? She's a murderer. She's a criminal. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you that lipstick ain't it though. Oh, got her. Those oh. are just rings, so no one hits on me. I, I, I think. I think you're okay, brother. Jay's put on an act I, I, for sure. I, mean, no first, offense, I thought but... it was him, but now I feel like he's acting. He's just a good actor. Yeah. yeah if you give Jay a script, okay. I don't think Jay killed a kitten ever. I don't think homie hurt anybody. 
I, I think it's either these two. One of these. This guy's just, I think he's just a weirdo. Or he's a very good actor. Homie's a rapper. He ain't kill nobody. I think he'd be able to play a really good oh. murderer. So I'm leaning more towards Johnny now. What? To put Johnny out? being oh, what? The murderer or to put out? Nah. The murderer? Oh, okay. I thought you was going to say, because he is. He, he, he killed. He killed. But look at, look at, look, look, look he's also it. looking around like, man, this don't even Did know. Did you hear the way he talked to you when you was like, <laughs> yeah, he gave you attitude. He, he, he talked like that's how he operate in real life. That that's how, like he's a actor. rapper. He just watched The Sopranos before he came here. I'm telling you. He thinks, <laughs> hey. I think he did. Nah, he, see, he that's that stereotype that I hate, man. Ooh. Oh. I can't tell if they're acting or if they're actually that's angry. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay, who, they do be stereotyping him real hard. Who is playing a role more believably? Jay or him? Uh, him. Oh, him? Look at him. He's still smiling. He's the only one that's smiling there. Oh, she's. I mean, I think that she's just creepy. Okay. Okay then. What we if we just getting rid of one person, right? No, we're not voting anybody out. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, we're, if we're gonna pair everybody's murder story. Hey, they're gonna the vote them out one by one. What if they the vote the real we one at the start? Jennifer Robert and Lucky. Holy. I think Lucky could just be the the, the silent killer in a little bit. The you know what I mean? Like yeah. he just He's did a it rapper. He ain't like, silent. You know what? I, I made my mistake. Did my thing. Did my time. Now he back out. Yeah, I'm I'm rapping, doing my thing. What are the main things rappers talk about in their raps? Bitches. In what else? Drugs. In murdering. Yeah, but the, they never do it. They all say they do it, but they never do it. When was the last time a rapper killed somebody? Somebody, Come he on, would bro. be rapping about it. Just give us one of your uh, bars, hooks. Okay. When you came with this, your bus caps at my regal and your mias. Oh, they tried to kill him. Your bus huh. caps at my regal, now you dump, did he dump, did he dump. And nothing could save you, that playboy gangster. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now, can y'all just, no, wait. It's okay, wait, I'll be honest with you. Wait, now, can somebody express to me what was he just rapping about? I'm going to tell you. They tried to shoot you. They shot up the whip. You shot back. Died. Okay, and well, now we I don't know about the end. shot back, Second but. degree murder, because it was self-defense. Isn't that crazy? Because Denny just said he that. He did. You're right, Denny. I know no, that's I don't, to eliminate anybody, but I'm ready to eliminate Robert. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Robert. Rob, Robert's, Robert's just too innocent. Nah, brother, he stabbed a dude, or I don't know, he did some. I, I, I'm telling you, this guy. He's so giving me that. Oh, that. That's the ones you gotta I watch. I did that that's once upon a time. Right that's there. the ones you gotta watch. He's I mean, too like okay, listen, if they were convicted of second degree murder, that's a lot of years behind bars. So they can't be young. None of them are young, but he does Chill look like somebody that. Let's you know, move on he's been through some rough shit. Third round. This round is about the details of the crime. Ooh, not okay, give this will give us a lot of info. The weapon that was used, detective. any witnesses. A dumbass one, but there. come on. But I think we're locking detective. in Lucky as our guest so far. Yeah. Yep. They're out yeah. there, Mike. Okay. They're no. out there, Lucky, goddamn Mike. Johnny. Johnny. I'm going no, with Robert. Bro. Robert. I'm Robert. Lucky. Lucky. I'm still rocking with Jay. Jay. Lucky. Okay. Damn, everybody thinks a different person. What was the weapon that you used? I used a 38. Jay, you have to think about the it. Weapon that you used? Okay, first off, if they've been through a case, a court case, they would know the details, probably memorize every single thing, okay? Well, that's a, just a basic knife, you know. A Swiss basic knife. knife. Basic. Yeah. Cause that's a crime of passion, damn no, near. I'm about to say, I'm not gonna lie, anybody wait, Swiss to Army somebody, knife? really oh, hate that person. Minute. Okay, okay, Yo, John. Wait, wait, Swiss Army knife, those are the little knives with uh, the, 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 the two with a lot of stuff on it. Brother, how many times you gotta stab someone with a, it, the knife is little as hell? What was your weapon of choice? Uh, Colt 2000. I don't know about guns either. Uh, Robert, Colt what did you 2000. use to kill you? It was the head. Uh, a skillet. A skillet? I believe that. That's disgusting. No, no, no. Was it a uh, cast no. iron Damn. or nonstick? Yeah. Cast iron. So that was a were in the kitchen? Um, yeah. Bro, he's lying. <laughs> he's a very bad liar, and that's okay. Well, I don't know, bro. What murder weapon used? A cigarette boat. A what? cigarette boat? What? Yes. Like, what? It was a cigarette on? boat. No, we were actually on a cigarette boat, oh, and wow. I strategically placed my husband at the base of the boats. How do you strategically place a person? So the driver would go over some gray bumps, and he flew off. Flew off and he the end. Couldn't swim. If you don't know how to swim, why? Okay, it's not her. It's not her. That bitch is out her guy. I mean, she read a book once upon a time, and. No way in hell. No way in hell. I swim all the time. But not by choice a lot of the time, but yeah. <laughs> he falls out the boat. He starts to drown. You said there was a captain that drove the boat. It was my brother. It was my brother's so, boat. Yeah. So your brother knew about this? Not really because it was gray. It was it was cloudy. It was off the coast of Malibu. We weren't that far out, but... So he did not hear a goddamn big-ass, adult-ass person flew off the boat. The waves were huh? smashing, and I don't 
don't know if you've ever been on a cigarette yeah. boat. I don't trust your eyebrows. Go like this. I've been on all types of boats. Jennifer, <coughs> so your you? brother didn't know you were going to do this. Whoa, no. what kind of boat so have you been on? So when your husband falls out and starts to drown, does your brother not go to help him? He was too worried about making sure that the boat was okay. Over your husband's life. Well, he yeah, didn't no way really know that he fell off. No further questions, Your Honor. She's I just lying, cracked brother. the case. Jennifer, thank you. You're lying. Yeah. You're done. Here's why. If that was your plan, that would be a premeditated murder, which would make you That's a first, degree. first degree murder. Okay. You told us. Second degree is a crime of passion. You do it. You didn't mean to do it. First degree is you meant to do it and you do it. It was okay. second degree. Second degree means it's in the moment. You clearly planned this with the whole True. boat brother thing. So you couldn't have been a second degree what if murder. She, what if she Let, let's move on back to the side of the room. Yours is in the kitchen, Robert? Yes. Lucky, where was yours? Mine was at the house. In your house? Yeah. What room? I caught that bitch cheating. Oh, Lucky. Who did you kill, Lucky? So, so you walk in your house and you find your your partner with some bashing lips. Yeah, in the bed. Damn. And look. you shot at her. I shot them both. And your partner was a woman? Wait, what are you what are you talking about? Hey. That, was, that was crazy, Ari. What kind of question is that? I just wanted to know what, what gender <laughs> your partner was. Ari go get himself shot. I mean you gotta ask nowadays. I don't know how that is uh that matters, but how long you were know. you with her for? Eight years. Um was she a Damn. good cook? Yeah, she was good until, you know What was that dude like saying, bro? Eight years going down the drain, spending money. It like said that, second man, degree murder, so he killed one of them. Tell me to do a DNA test. Oh, y'all had kids together. Yeah, and found out that was lying the whole time. What? Oh, so you didn't catch her in the bed. You just caught, you did a DNA test. He did call her in the bed. Wait, he said he caught her in the bed. bed. That just, I, I lost it. I flipped the f out. Okay, Johnny, where was you? But you already knew she was cheating because you did the DNA test. So did you do the DNA? I think that dude's lying as well. I think he messed up his story. Your crime at? Was that a party? Is that a party? I was 19 years old. Uh huh. Okay. So we do the math. Johnny, what city was this in? Cold 2000. Who did you kill? The guy who had the party. Or one of the people that had the party. Any witnesses? No. Accomplices? In a no. party? Bitches? Bitches? Oh, good, thank you. No. Okay, Jay. You killed your neighbor with a knife. Any witnesses? A Swiss knife. You have an accomplice? Which is a small no. ass knife. Where'd you stab him at? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> what the hell was that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go pop, pop, pop. What was hey, that? <laughs> What you was that? Like you stabbed like I've that? I've never heard of murder, no. hey. Was you pissed off or like it was a noise complaint or it was just like y'all got some interaction and next thing you know, pop, pop. I was standing in the sober living in, in, in Northridge. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, I'm trying to get my life together. This dude moved in who, you know, from the from the old neighborhood. It turned it turned out that he had something to do with, with killing my cousin. Mm, what? I ain't like I I never liked anyway, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is like This is cap. Your neighbor killed your yeah, cousin. That's why no, 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 no. Yeah, he has something to do with it. He talks a lot of shit. Okay. He talks a lot of shit. So it turns out like people look, he's talking shit, whatever and everything like that. And I, I when he moved in, I was just like, I I never liked this cat. Bro, this is more confused than me. What are you saying, brother? The that killed your cousin moved next door to you. No, no, sober living. You, 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 oh, sober living. Okay, so you ain't it. never had like, issues with alcohol, I guess, or whatever. But I'm saying we have what issues is sober with alcohol. Living? So it's, a, it's a house and it's a bunch of, you know, bunk bed like that or whatever. So we all trying to get our life together, everything like that or whatever. This cat moved in. I never liked this cat to, to begin with. He's always talking. So it, the thing but is, he he's always neighbor. talking stuff. He talk, he's talking my, to my, you know, the dude on the top bunk of me, you know, basically saying blah, 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 blah. He has something to do God? with it. So. Well, Jay, that's going to make a hell of a movie someday on Netflix. All right, all right, <laughs> no, it's not. Move on to no, the it's next not. Round. What do you mean? This next round is about prison. Let's start prison. with you, Jennifer. Okay. Um, how many years? Jennifer has never seen a prison in her life. In prison? I was only I live in close three one, years. By the way. What was the name of the prison? It was in San Pedro. It was the country club prison. What's a day country look like in prison. San Pedro's country club? Well, you get up in the morning and you have a nice breakfast with the other girls. Well, and then the there's the spiking. tennis courts. And then there's also, um, you do a little little duty. I mean, you, you have like duty. either kitchen duty. You killed somebody, woman. You guard some of the basketball courts. I want to ask you a question, Jen. What was your uh, inmate number? 4937. Let me ask you this. So how big is this prison? It's 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 relatively big. How many people would you say are in the prison? Oh, about 500. But your number is 4930? <laughs> get her, get 500 that, people, but this Assume that's how, ooh, this boy's smart as hell, bro. There's different codes for everything. Kevin, you codes. killing it today, Kevin. I mean, we already knew she was lying. So. Zoom in on my face, Austin. I'm on my he did not zoom in his face. What I've been watching hell? Suits okay. all week getting ready for this. Wow. He zoomed in Robert, his face. <laughs> how many years did you do in prison? 31. 31 Holy. years. That's a long time. For what? killing someone with a skillet. What? How old are you? 52. 
Okay. When you get out of prison. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, damn. Uh, 2020. 2020. So 2020 is three years ago. So in the middle of COVID. Which means you committed this crime at 19 years God old. Damn. 18. How many times did you hit him with the skillet? Quite a few. Honestly, I believe him. Yeah, I told you. I'll be honest. She's the like most believable one. You think? And he's the only one that looks like they're okay with what happened there. Like all the other ones look incredibly uncomfortable. Kill somebody when And if you were in prison for 30 years, you'd be comfortable with that shit. That's a long ass time. The 31 years in prison. A skillet does not get you 31 years. If you're Bro, he you murdered somebody. What you mean? It could get you 31 years. Plus, he didn't say what else he did. Usually, the crimes are not just, oh, you just killed somebody. Usually, there's like a lot of stuff that happens in between that are usually illegal. Give for murdering somebody. <laughs> if it's first degree murder with like a weapon and all that, maybe 25 to life, yeah. but 31 years of second degree with a skillet? Maybe he did some stuff in prison as well. We don't know. Lucky. Yes, sir. You did, you said, how many years in prison? I did eight years. Eight years in prison? Like, how did this dude do eight years if he shot at two people and killed one person? Like, how is that even possible? If that is possible, I don't want to live in every yes, One at. singular prison? No. How many prisons? I went to three. What were the names? It was Damn. Calipat, oh, Ironwood, and um... You do remember Pelican it, bro. Bay. My flag with, with Bay? Lucky right now is that anybody would remember Pelican's Bay first. True. Isn't Every that... single person knows that Denzel I've line. I've about that shit. Did you have a cellmate? Of course. But then, you know, me, I didn't get along with cell cellmates, so I'll beat their ass all the time. My what? brother don't be playing. Yeah, I agree. Bro, wouldn't they give you more jail time for that? Eight years? Yeah, I got in mind. Johnny, tell us, how many years did you do in prison? I did three weeks. Oh, trust that dude. I'm now backtracking. It does seem a little soprano-y to me now. Yeah. He feels a little actory now. I do agree. Thank you! I do agree. <laughs> Jay, how many years the did you do in prison? Killing me with him. I did eight of ten. Can I eight of question? ten. How okay. is this SAG strike affecting you? <laughs> I think I see him outside of Warner Bros with a sign. Damn. You do eight Damn. years. What was the prison name? This play is on the left foot. And um, do you have a cellmate? Mm -hmm. Cat named Gerald. Cat named Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> hey, Don't that sound like hey, it's from a script? <laughs> um, Jay, what was Gerald in jail for? Same thing. He's still in there. For stabbing somebody like boom, boom, boom? <laughs> Stop. No, no, I mean Boo, boo, boo. I, mean, no, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, second degree, but his was more intense. So. How did he stab him? <laughs> We're going to move on to the final round. Everyone's going to give us their full story. Try to make it about 60 seconds. Oh, my seconds God, these dudes are crazy, bro. Oh, Jennifer, like we'll start with you. Tell us the full story. Okay, nah, bro. full story. Okay. I don't, this is going to be cringe as fuck. I don't trust the word this woman is saying. And her eyebrows are killing me. So, it was a late evening. My brother had a cigarette boat. Mm -hmm. He's asked my ex-husband, or my husband at the time and me if we wanted to go out for a quick little on the ocean. It's like, sure, why not? Okay? So he picked us up at the end of the pier. Everybody was bored. we jumped in and we went. Now, Look we at weren't that dude. far Damn. out. It happened to be somewhat wavy and rocky and the boat went like this. I placed my husband at the back How do you place boat, him? him? A nice, great big margarita and you know what we flipped like that it went really hard he fell off no his remains also i like how she says i gave him a big ass margarita bro margarita that she ain't gonna get a drunk a dude drunk there's a big ass dude you need to have like 15 of those motherfuckers were Come never on, found brother. because there was there's shark out there i'm gonna make this very simple is that the story no of way. someone who murdered someone no or way is the hell. story of someone who accidentally died on a boat that's the story of somebody who how, read a novel yeah i agree for murder, Bold when dude. she's saying her husband fell out the boat. Yeah. Robert, tell us the story of how you murdered someone with a skillet. Okay, this sounds okay. cute as well. Uh, I went to Pomona, California uh, to visit a girlfriend. I didn't have a vehicle. I took the bus. So on my way back, it was a little too late uh, to catch the bus. Uh, somebody came up and asked if I needed a ride. He said the buses aren't running. So I said, sure, and got in the car. So oh, on our way shit. towards Upland, uh, he asked, uh, do you drink? And okay. I said, yeah. Listen, so, first off, Listen to how many details he's giving while he's saying this. He's saying city names, he's saying block names, he's saying times, everything. This sounds like this dude had a court case. I don't know if it's murder, and he knows the information. I said, we want to stop by for a drink. All right, all right, cool. You know, I had no no problem with it, and I got in the car. We, we took off, we bought some beer, and we went to his house, and we started drinking. So uh, he asked me a little bit about my background, my family, and all that, and I just told him I don't have, I don't have too much family. It was getting kind of late, so I told him, hey, I got to go. And uh, he said, okay, you know, soon. 
And no, nah, soon wasn't coming fast Ooh. enough. So I asked him, you know what, uh, are you gonna take me back or um, do I need to take off and go on foot? And he pulls out a gun. So oh. I said, you ain't going anywhere. So uh, I figured, uh, okay, well, well, what do you need? Of course, he asked me for my wallet. That's the first thing I gave him. Um, then I asked him, can I leave? He said, no. So he said, uh, he's gonna call so a friend. he got kidnapped. And then uh, we'll see what happens. So I was waiting, he decided to call a friend. And as soon as he turned oh. back, he, he actually took the gun off me. Yeah, he had a gun, uh, 38. So uh, the first thing I could grab was a, a pan, you know, a skillet that was right there on the stove. And uh, I did my welling, you know, it was uh, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't situation. Uh, he wouldn't drop the gun, I kept hitting him. I wound up taking his gun, taking his wallet, okay. used his car to get back to Upland. Smart man. Okay, okay so no, nah, he's a dumbass, man. That's why, that's probably why he got 31 years. If you just killed him, right, he died, whatever, he got gunpoint, probably self-defense. If he calls the police, he yoinked the gun and yoinked the car. So they probably said he didn't get kidnapped. He went there and then he killed the dude and robbed him. That's probably how he looked to the court. That's probably why he got 31 years. That makes sense. This whole situation makes sense, they told. I can believe that. I was wondering, why would they give him 31 years for self-defense? Self yeah, self but it's not self-defense, though. He owned the gun and he owned the car. So it's probably seen as a crime. Self-defense like, when it's you a crime take anyway, the wallet, but... take the keys, yeah. and yeah. take the stuff. You got robbed him. No, Pretty nobody much. ever got robbed. He nah, actually, quote-unquote, Well, no, no, he robbed him, technically. I don't know. It's weird. It, it, it largely depends on how the court saw that, but... I'm pretty sure to get 31 years, they probably seen it as a robbery, a murder, and then fleeing the scene, all that bullshit. So they show up, and the guy's dead. Yeah, he dead as hell. What does that hell. look like, Kevin? No, I'm, I'm asking him. But what does that look like to you? If I walk you in... You the police, he's gone, there's a dead guy, wallet, car gone, he has it. And he gun. Has his own stuff. And he's gun. wallet and gun. Which and is and important. Guys. Oh, you took the other guy's stuff. Yeah. yeah. That you was the stupid part. And now, what does that look like to you? Yeah, it looks, it looks like bad. I'm an idiot. He was pressing you. You defend yourself. Should have called the police him, immediately. Decide, I'm gonna take his stuff, leave, and then what happens? Do you call the cops? Who calls the cops? No, apparently there was a neighbor that oh, seen me there. Oh, that's probably bad as well. You should have it? called the cops. Uh, of course, it wasn't. It yeah, wasn't. There's one years. I had no idea. Who would regret that shit? But you had no choice. I didn't have a choice. But you did have a choice to take his wallet. Oh yeah. yeah. And I got gun. so nervous. I thought he was gonna try to touch on you. No, that's what he wanted to do. No, I was kidnapped. He was Maybe he would have. I don't know, but yeah, I believe it's that dude. Friend over yeah. for. He's forty. I'm eighteen. Damn. Right. He he, he said I'm calling. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer, I told you. <laughs> he said I'm calling a yeah, friend over. You had to do what you had to do, dog. Congrats. If you want the rest of the story, Congrats. you can later. You know, you'll be uh, interested. So. This is the guy. Yeah, okay, he's lucky. Good. He knows too what much shit story? about it. Well, or he's a brilliant. Work. I've been he's calling her phone. She ain't been answering. She normally answers or calls me. So I knew something was off. So I went to the house. All the lights was off. Okay, house... listen to the difference in the story. He didn't name one street. He didn't say one. No ages, nothing. No timings, nothing compared to the other dude's story, bro. Normally it must be that guy. It like must be. 11.30. So I get home. Lights is dimming off. I come in. I hear some noise. What time? I'm like, what the f is that? So I walk inside the bedroom. And I see my bitch riding this. So I flip the f out. Was it a silent riding? Were you not hearing the moans though? Ah, ah, woo. None of this? I have guys all around the house. Naturally. I just grabbed for the closest burner I had <laughs> and just gave it to him. Were the guns um, legally registered to you or were they using the firearms? Nah, I'm a, I'm a hood. You know what that is, Ari? I could presume. All right, Johnny, <laughs> tell us the story I like Ari. of how you oh, are somebody. So it was a house party, like I said. Walked through the front door, everyone's partying in the back. Tell I was going to the bathroom, went, to a, went through a door when the lights were out. One of the dude's rooms, his name was Darren, ended up being. Went, opened his drawer, went to rob him, in case you guys didn't figure that out yet. Found a gun that was in his top drawer under his, put it under my waist, pulled my shirt out, went out to the party, I was gonna show my friends later like I was cool or something. Go in the back, everybody's partying, whatever. But as I was, it kind of started right before when I was leaving the patio, I saw somebody kind of like staring at me. So of course I, you know, I panicked a little bit and went to the backyard and everyone's, you know, doing K, all that kegs, all that music, dancing, and Kegs's I broke to the that. left. And there was like a, another house, like a yard. So I'm just walking casually, kind of quickly, seeing if this dude's still following me, and he would. So I went right through there, through the, to the next house. And I remember there being a pool. I walked around the pool, the dude came through, it was just him. Then I went through the back, there was, a, there was a house behind that house, and I went through those bushes, and he came through, tackled me. I think when I was going through, obviously it slipped, but the gun came out, and we started wrestling around, and, and a shot went off. Now here's the thing, I didn't, I just, 
got up and ran. I had no f clue who was hit. I didn't know who, if he was hit or anything. And I went all around the block, back through the front door to the house and just started hanging out. Now the music was playing loud. So I, nobody even noticed anything. No one heard the gunshots? No one heard the gunshot. No one said anything. All right. So, so that listen, it's not him. If there was a court case against this dude, he would know exactly what happened. Uh, he wouldn't remember there's a pool. He'd know there was a pool there. They went by the pool. He, they wrestled. The gun fell out. He in self-defense got to the gun. A shot went off. He know where he, the shot hit him. Knows if he died. Knows what happened. He would know everything. Because there was a goddamn court case. Doesn't just happen. You kill somebody, then you're in prison, okay? So it's not that, that guy. He didn't say shit. No, it doesn't. But no, only question no, is, though, it is doesn't, brother. When the whole they wrestling and the shot goes off, when you shoot somebody, the blood automatically kicks back. So no, it, it depends where you shot him. It depends. Sometimes there might not even be much blood. Came back into the party with depends. something. I don't know. I mean, he got shot in the gut, so I don't know if that means anything. But that was a great monologue. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, I love I the dead fan, that brother. Great. That bored. That was a boring was story. Yeah, no, it was I saw not you get great. bored at the end. You like to talk when I talk for some reason. I don't know what. The because part. I'm a bull. I know when bullshit is happening. Yeah, it's bullshit. We need to put you two in a short scene together, cause you and Jay, <laughs> y'all good actors for sure. I mean, she you looks like she'd be in a short scene. Uh, all right, Sorry. Jay, let's hear the story of how you killed your neighbor with a Swiss Army knife. Okay, I, mean, I want to hear like this. Saying, First off, Swiss Army knife is like this big, the, the actual knife. Okay, you need to have a motherfucker a lot of times. Earlier, I was in a sober living, you know, trying to get my life together, or whatever, you know. Dude, you know what I'm saying? Like who, you know, I don't like was in the sober living as well mm -hmm. yeah 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 that's what happened i mean I, it's like i'm repeating the same i said earlier yeah you are yeah. give us more info again. all right <laughs> <laughs> let's see if you remember your lines <laughs> all right the neighbor that killed his cousin or had something to do so with basically cousin. you know got in a fight you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying because i you know i found out that he had something to do with killing my cousin mm -hmm. I, you know what i'm saying it was gonna be a head up scrap i didn't want to kill the cat but you know it was what it was he killed. what was the you say it was a fight started well, it, it had start? been a couple weeks he had been there. And the thing is, I'm just trying to get, you know, get sober for my family, do better, everything like that or whatever. So I was going to try to ignore him. I'm not sure if you ever, you probably never been in a sober living home. But the thing is, it's, you know, plenty of different rooms. You know, you can just, you know, mind your business. Because you know, I never got along with this cat. We went to high school together. So okay, whole... listen, this might have happened to somebody and he might have witnessed it. It did not happen to him. He did not kill anybody. I, I don't believe a word he says. It's like, okay, let me just try to avoid the cat. Boom, 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 boom. And I keep hearing that he's talking shit. By, from other people. So I know that he likes to go smoking up the street. He, he, this <laughs> Look at how he's laughing. <laughs> Oh my I'm god. Tired of me. I'm tired of that smile. Yeah, so he likes to go smoking up the street. So I, you know, I call him slipping. Like, yeah, what's, what's going on? Brother. I heard you talking, you know, you had something to do with my cousin death, whatever the case may be. And I'm just like, man, I'm just in this right now. Boom, boom, boom. No, 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 no. Boom, pop, boom. Pop, 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 pop. No, no, no. You stick to the script. Go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just. Boom, boom, boom. Let me know what you Come think. on, I think bro. Jay and Jennifer. It's Robert, Robert, 100%, 300%. If it's anybody else but Robert, I, the Robert needs to start writing Netflix scripts, okay? Straight I, up. I think it's between Johnny, Lucky, and Robert. No, hell no. Towards Lucky and Robert. Yeah, Johnny it's Robert, is another good actor. He gave the most you details. You think Johnny's an actor for sure? Yeah, he got Absolutely. me at first, though. I was stuck on Lucky, but... Robert, that story was really good. Robert. Can I help you? Because I feel like what you're morphing your opinion is... I do believe that Lucky has been in prison or jail. He done seen that for sure. Yes, yes. Mm. But as far as the second degree murder or the murderer, I don't think it's that. Bro, and I think- I With Lucky's story, first off, no details. Second off, he shot at two people and killed one of them. No one's gonna give you eight years for that. That's a that You tried to kill two people and murdered actually one of them. Like, See, come problem, on, bro. My problem with Lucky too is that if he is a repeat eight offender, years? they give him more than eight that years. That is to also kill true. Robert's story actually, like in the beginning, it makes I was sense, like, There's bro. No way he did it, but when he told the story, yeah. I told y'all, Rob. Plus, no, Robert years makes sense very for that. much doesn't. Number one, he doesn't seem like an actor yes, at all. Yes, too, right? I could actually believe that Lucky would be an actor. He already is in entertainment. A lot of Thank rappers want to act. That makes sense. He's charismatic. I could Robert's see him still being the only an one that's actor smiling. as well. And eyebrows, but eyebrows. I'm going. Lucky. I think I think no, Lucky did it. No, I think Robert, your story no. is, is, is unbelievable. It's Robert. And I could be wrong here. Bro, it's Lucky not Robert. Right I don't things know. I'm going to. My, mind. my yeah, world I, 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 shatters. I'm be wrong, but that's what I'm going with. You are wrong. And it's sad to see it because we usually do this pretty well together. I think it's Robert with Yes. I'm going to go with yes. my first pick. Let's just say, had Robert all along. Yes. Uh, yes, he did. I remember that. Motivated to kill. Uh, motivated to tell the truth. Uh, not motivated to smile. Okay. 
I think I'm going to go with Robert. I was convinced. You know, at the first, I I, I thought there was no way. Bro, but then after I heard the story Come and on, man. His Come on, and whatnot, man. I think Robert's our guy. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Robert Come has on, a Ari. violent bone in his body. That being said. He ain't no bitch. <laughs> Robert was pushed into defending himself uh -huh. two times, once in prison and once out of prison. Robert. Wait, he didn't say anything about prison, murder. though. Will the real murderer. Was he pushed step in forward? prison? No. Nah. Hmm. I mean, he looked at Robert. I fucking knew it. Uh, I knew go. it. God damn, 31. You know hey, Robert, man, that's a hell of a story for that's real, though, bro. Yo. He said, you're a good dude, though. I can tell you're a good guy. If I mean, you host, listen. Okay. Story happened again. Would you do it the same? Yeah, no, Including no. The 31 years. Call the, the police skillet, immediately. The whole thing. If I knew uh, how I was going to get convicted, I would have used his gun to kill him. Yeah. Mm. Wow. How would that change anything? I think the biggest thing with his story is that he didn't call the police immediately after he killed the dude. I think if he did that, he would have been mostly fine. Could have been like a self-defense, right? Wow. How would that using go back, his gun to Would you take his wallet and everything when you left? Hell no. Nah. Just walk away. If I could change it, no. Just call the well, police, bro. Don't it. even walk away. What do you mean? On a day's work, baby. Good night. Oh, this is good. That's hell. Oh. Damn. Is that you banned? Oh. Gotcha. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, I did. Let me know if you want to see more of these. Who did you think was the killer? It better not have been eyebrows. Come on. It's not eyebrows. No way it's eyebrows. Okay? Let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll see y'all next time. Okay? Like, comment, subscribe. And join the stream later on today. Bye, everybody. Have a good day.